Ascent, Grubinho with the Sova already locked in. Sneak hovering over Phoenix, Frontside, and Nitro. Um, Killjoy and Brimson, so no surprises here. Uh, we should see Aymarito now. Uh, let me check on the stats if he actually picked something specific so far. Uh, Aymarito... Where is he? Jet, typically. Nitro on Brimstone, Sneak on Phoenix, that all, all makes sense. Frontside is switching between Killjoy and Cypher. Um, yeah, seems like that all fits. And when it comes to Ascent, we have Stoxo, Bonkold, uh, Stoxo on Sage, Bonkold on Omen, Cenet on Jet, Coldamenta on Sova, and Kili's on Reina. So no surprises, to be honest. No surprises so far. Uh, we're gonna start the match as soon as the, all the players are locking in. Select and your so agent. far, when it comes to Ascend on this map, it was always actually kind of nuts. When you see how Cenet plays and creates space on A-side, it's something that we have seen in the opening qualifiers so far. If you guys were watching two days ago, uh, we were actually casting with Tsesht. Um, we were casting with Tsesht a match of, uh, of Ascent where they were actually just so aggressive on the A-side uh, that their opponents were putting nano swarms on specific spots where Cenet dashes in. They were trying to counter that a specific movement which Ascend is executing um, where, uh, where Cenet is being supported by his teammates, you know, by the flashes, by um, by Paranoia and, and so on. So this is something that maybe we're gonna see in this team as well. But here we go. I'm gonna go for the fist map. Remember guys, I'm solo casting this one this time. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Um, our observer, Salty J today, joining us will be responsible for the camera work. Thank you very much for that. And I'm going to be focusing on talking about what we see on the screen and analyzing the game at the same time. Five ghosts for Illuminar on defense. Something you don't see often happening, especially with characters like um, Sova and... Um, and Killjoy, where we want to have as many pieces of utility as possible. But now, Illuminar seems to be very aggressive on B Garage Control. They get the tag on Omen. They're pushing in three people. Bone Cold might be caught off guard. They're pushing exactly in a good moment. And Five Snake is opening it up feet. with a double kill on Ascent. What a first round opening. Those first seconds are gonna pay dividends in Morales. Frontside gets another one. 3 to 0 in the first round. The pistol round on Ascent. Seen it? Hits. Nothing basically gets some damage in, but now he's on 34 Rocky HP. Fight. Two players ready for ascend, but this this is a, gonna be a very tough round. One Pull off. There's seen it. Now the last man standing stock show. The Polish player against the entire Polish team. Will he prevail? Two players are actually on a very low HP. If he gets the kill on sneak, this is doable. He had the angle but misses the first shot, and Sneak gets the third kill. I'm 100% sure this is a good morale boost for Illuminar, because they, they are now winning the pistol round on defense, which is super important when it comes to building up economy. Uh, remember, this map is defense-based, so if you assert dominance on the first side, it's definitely going to pay dividends uh, for the attack. When it comes to the um, economy, look at this. Illuminar makes no no high risk, low reward plays. Everyone here plays a Spectre. And they are prepared. They are prepared for the rush. Aymarito and Nitro are setting up defense on this A lobby passage. And they stop two players instantly. In the meantime, front side kills Ooh. one, one kills remaining. two in Garage B. See that with the lone stands on mid can prevail against sneak and uh right now sneak has four out of six on his ultimate stocks with five out of seven but on attack there's not a single ultimate that is actually really beneficial to open up a site so this might be a little bit problematic uh for ascent let's see what they will try to do on the first full buy although cnet and bonkold both play with the small shields Everyone else on the Illuminar still with those Spectres that they didn't lose in the previous round. So this bonus round is actually 
pretty, pretty good. Bonko has a good position, gets the first blood, but then is being traded by Sneak. They get the one Vandal, one for one. This is pretty good for the attackers because the map stays the same, but the defenders know the positioning. Frontside with a great angle and gets a double kill. Spike down mid. Achilles and Stockso have to work from this B garage with two rifles, but it's two against four. And Sneak, remember, now has to run it back for the retake. They need to get a, at least one more kill to try to plant the bomb. Last he sees one. Standing. Nitro prevails. Grubino is known. Stocks will wait it out. Try to get the kill. Be patient. But he misses the first shots. Jumps down. Will try to get the kill before everyone else rotates. And now he gets it. But not enough time to transfer the flick to get the guy on stairs. 3-0. An insanely valuable round for Illuminar when they basically get a free round. Well, almost, because they, buying, they are buying one operator, Place but every box. single other gun is being picked up from the field. Which makes a great, great bonus round for Illuminar so far. They looking strong. Good synergy, good, good timing and spacing, by the way. We could have been easily uh, seen in the first round, in pistol round, when they knew exactly when to pick when the opponents were busy trying to hit the recoil bolt. And now Ascend will have a little bit tough time winning the next round when they are under equipped. Case with the sneaky, beaky garage play. He will not be spotted by the turret. It's not here this time, but they for sure know that Killjoy is playing on this side. They should hear the utility on the mini here, as you can see on the mini map. It's on the side. So they know it's here. Sneak trying to stop the attack from Ascent gets a double kill. Frontside dies in the meantime. Ascent gets the side control because of CNET, but they are not going through yet. Now they're on site. Sova is trying to plant. Cena tries to get a kill. Gets the weapon out, but he's being pushed. He gets spotted by Emerito. Sneak with another kill. Cold Amenta. Soul player on A side. Sorry, on B side. Doesn't get much done. But still, they got the plant. They got some kills. Let's say it's semi successful for a send. Four or. Four or. Illuminar is building up. Sneak with zero deaths is making a difference here now when it comes to the utility let's check front side killjoy lockdown ready this is a big thing and for now killjoy was always playing on b but as you can see on the minimap killjoy is now rotating to a to 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 just basically surprise ascend in case they want to push a because of that lockdown possibility right this is a very good choice um for illuminar to switch that up it's uh it might actually call Ascent of God. On the other side, Cold Amenta has the Hunter's Fury ready. And there's two! My God, Oimer wins the duel between two Jets. CNED with his operator doesn't do much in this case. And he dies. CNED 05. What is going on? This is not something we have seen often from CNED. Whew. What a map. Who would have, who would have think that this is going to be the beginning? CNET gets the res. So the first blood is now being negated. Although he has no armor. 100 HP ready. In the meantime, there's a little bit of mid control and a lobby control taken by Ascend. Remember, CNET has the operator on that top mid. Now they're both rotating towards A side. Whereas there's a stack of Brimstone and Killjoy. Remember about the cold, uh, the lockdown. It's still available for the players of Illuminar. This seems like an execute. Good spacing by Nitro. And Bonko, those no fear, goes in. Closes the door for his team, opens up the sights. It's gonna be a 5v5 retake. The spamming through hell. Maybe someone is hiding there. There's the Killjoy, but there's the Hunter's Fury counter. And the lockdown is destroyed. 12 seconds. Still 12 seconds. seconds. The bomb left. goes down. Spike down no spike a. being planted. Now there's the spike. There's it goes down. But no plant. That's it. That's the round. Last 
player spent. 5-0 for Illuminar. What a round. A little bit of a mess. But Illuminar prevails. Whew. What a round. Seen it. Still with zero kills. That is insane. Who would have thought that Illuminar will be such a massive opponent for Ascend right now? They're crumbling under pressure. While Illuminar seems to be super confident. I am here to wanted to time his opponents out without destroying the Leer. CNET still has the operator. All the players with only a sheriff. One Spectre. This is gonna be a Hail Mary. Here. To push that side. Now they know. On stairs, there's a jet with the operator. Will he get the scan? Oh, he misses. Cena doesn't get the crucial kill to open up that spot. Now, three players are on B side. It's gonna be a tough, tough task ahead of them. But they get the info. The Lear is being destroyed by two players. Will they push it? They are pushing it. They're already on the boat. Cena gets the first kill. Cena with the second front side. Tries to defend it. Gets the double kill. But it's two versus three. Now they have all the weapons. Cover going out. Phone One call. With the flank, we'll try to get another kill. But this is, this looks like a round for a set, but seen it from zero to five. With his first ace of the day, but also first kills in the day. What a round. Cena woke up from the slumber. Will that be the change that Ascend is needing so much? Remember, attack a little bit tougher than defense on this map. But that still doesn't change the fact that Illuminar is making a statement right now. Nitro with the first blood. Cnet is being taken away again. Ascent is falling apart with the jet. Who will make the space on, space on site? It has to be Kilix now. The Reina has to do her job. In the meantime, Bone Cold is pushing on A short. He's trying to get some space, but there's Aimeritor already ready with this angle. Will he get this smoke in front of him? There's, there's the info. Someone is already on A short. He's, Bone Cold is being tagged. Now he's running away. From the Hunter's Fury, he is being missed. Has 100 HP, has to push forward. Now there are two players there. He goes on this side, but straight into Nitro's hand. And Nitro's getting the first kill. Recon Bolt gets the position of Nitro out, but they still have the control. Four versus three on the attack. is looking miserable. Nitro has a great flank, gets the kill. Frontside and Nitro work so well together. What a round! Illuminar gets so many kills, so many just openers ready for them. Seen it? I we have to check the stats, but if I'm not mistaken, he was dying three or four times as the first player so far, and it's only seven rounds so far. Whew. I have to take something to drink. Stuxo opening it up. Bonkold and Condamenta still with one frag. This is an odd buy round where Stuxo and Bonkold have a rifle, but that's about it. CNET with the aggressive, aggressive push on sight. No one is being spotted right now. There's a lot of people in that market. Sneak gets the kill on Stuxo. The flank is big. He's opening up, opening up the garage. Gets the second one. Gets the triple. No, it's Cned with the knife to his head. Ends his life, but there's still four people ready. What a shot by Cned. I'm is being deleted. Nitro is being deleted. Frontside is getting backstab. But it's still one versus two. Doable. Grubinho has his recon dart. Does he want to use it? No, he goes for the ego peak, but loses the bone cold. Second round for ascent.
those skills on Cena were very, very spectacular. You have to say, when he's waking up, he gets those skills with the knives, remember? This is a gun that has no re- I mean, it's not a gun, it's five. It's just five knives, and they have no recall. Basically, you can just go left, right, up, down, and you always have 100% accuracy. Well played. This was the old round, by the way. Remember, guys, they didn't have full equipment. They had to pick it up. Rubinho spots one. Here's the second one. He knows about the Reina close. Kiles still has one more Leer. He can op open up the side with it. So far, a very passive approach by Ascend on the rest of the side of the map. CNET is holding just a lobby push. The spike is still there. Now they're slowly rotating towards the A side. The spike will be picked up by someone rotating through spawn right now. Remember, CNET has I have the spike. actually a rifle. Scratch what I wanted to say. I thought he's having an operator. So this means that he will try to dash on site and then open up some space with the support of that one Leer that is still available. Jiggle Peaks Here. gets this the check the first one but they still don't know if someone is on wine now they check it there's no one here now they have to be fast the leer comes in there's the dash there's he's taking control of all of the generator he checks under heaven there's no one here five v five retake nitro goes in through the smoke what a madman gets the double kill but there's the rest 4v4 sneak still has to run it back he's gonna try to open it up in the meantime Sancho misses his shots but seen it Whips his shots on the Haven and gets deleted. Illuminar just kills the entire team. Holy crap. What a round. Who would have thought this was going to look like this? It looked effortless for Illuminar to get that retake done. A big part of it was Nitro. Nitro, with the double kill when he peeked through the smoke, was absolutely phenomenal. And he did so much work for his teammates. Now a technical pause. Let's take a look at what's happening. Uh, when it comes to utility. Here. Starkso, Kilis, and Coldamenta on the lower buy. Starkso can still buy a rifle and have a small shield, but we're not certain about his utility. Maybe he will not have cash enough uh, for the wall and the slows, which is very important in attack. That wall is a crucial part of taking some space or getting some really cool cheeky um, peaks when it comes to an example Garage B. On the other side, we have Illuminar, who are basking in glory, 7-2, and have a lot of cash. Four rifles, an operator, full equipment, and they still have enough cash for the next round. This is pretty, pretty demanding for Ascend. And when it comes to the setup, I don't think we have any setup ready because we're still in the tech pause. And guys, please remember, this is a three minutes delay, but be respectful in the chat and only use only English. If you're going to be using any different language, it's going to be deleted or timed out, guys. If you want to have a conversation, if you want to cheer for your teams, just, you know, be respectful to everyone else. There's no need to be swearing and insult anyone else. We still have the technical pause, if I'm not mistaken, for... Or uh, if this is a tech pause for Sand, the team speak is lagging. Maybe we should use Discord. Who knows? But uh, honestly, guys, honestly, I didn't expect this to happen this way. Illumina is looking really solid. Uh, I have to talk about the pistol round that we have seen in the past. Uh, the first round, I really like that aggressive uh, B push with the Garish. Basically, they went... Like, three players went for B main, right? And they used the recon arrow on this backside of B lobby. And this was timed out perfectly. When the recon arrow was hitting, hitting that wall, and when the opponents were looking at the recon bolt to destroy it, that was the moment when they peeked. They didn't get an info. 
basically there was nothing happening but they peaked in that moment when they knew that their pawns will be looking at this wall and it was so well played it basically won the entire round that one small recon arrow and the good timing to peak from b main and in general it seems like illuminar is 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 training you know those small situations and this is fantastic to see uh illuminar looking crisp so far This is a best of three, by the way. Remember, guys, first map, Ascent, as you guys see. Second map is going to be Icebox. Now, if we're going to go to a third map, the third map will be the bind, and that will be the decider. And uh, if I remember correctly, Ascent was picked by Illuminar, and Icebox was picked by Ascent. Still in the tech pause. But maybe something will change. We can talk a little bit about it. Uh, let me know in the chat if there's anything that bugs you. Maybe something that we should change. Uh, I think we have the X-ray and the cross guys on this time. So we shouldn't have problems like this. Uh, for some reason, the account yesterday was reset. But hey, I, I think the players are preparing. Because we see some movement from Ascent on the minimap. And they're preparing to go towards B. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna turn off the minimap. Let's, see, let's take a look at the scoreline and the ultimates ready. Coldament has six out of seven. So if I would have to make an ex estimated guess, actually both of us are six out of seven. Well, you might see some early orb control um, happening for both of those teams. Um, all right, Nascent is ready. Nice. We're gonna start the map. In this case, I forgot about the overlay. Oh my god. Okay, I turned it on right now. I was off for the entirety of the map. Oh my. All right, well, stuff happens. So, most likely, we're gonna see uh, an early orb control from Ascent to open up with that called the Mental Hold. Let's see what's gonna happen. There's the first use of utility Leer taking control of B lobby. Sneak though. Just gets on mid, gets the flank. So many information being given. There's already seen it on the B side, and there's also one called Wiven. They have this, they have the spike on the side. In the meantime, the sneak. This is gonna be big. If he gets the kill, he gets it. He knows about the second player. He is smart. He is not gonna push that. He's gonna heal. He's gonna wait. He knows that he had made so much distraction for his teammates, and now Stuxo is waiting for sneak. But sneak prevails. Has a fantastic level play. In front of him, front side has that turret available. Sneak tries to get the front, he gets it. Three kills in B lobby. They're not even on the side, but see that against double. The first from Bonkold. Two versus two reading happening now. Front side, big kills by Bonkold. Sneak, will he get the ace? No, it's seen it and Bonkold who prevail on the side and make it impossible possible. What a round. Sneak played it perfectly. He opened up the B garage. He gets the first kill. He knows about the sage standing on the on the wall. He plays it smart. He goes back, tries to confuse the players if he's gonna push or not. Maybe he will he will maybe he had a chance to even go market if uh Stocks wasn't peeking. But in the meantime, Cena and Bonkol just made it impossible. They go for the aggressive aggressive push but it's a 1v1 trade and it's not looking good in this case for Illuminar they have to defend with lower resources but Grubinho gets the first kill he's being pushed out and he doesn't get the second one CNET gets the kill but Nitro still in a lobby gets killed by Cole Dementa CNET on site gets the control Shock Dart pushes off but Sneak gets the kill Condolenta Spike is down CNET is being known he sees Sneak he gets the tag he has 20 HP. One bullet is enough to kill him. Fakes the orb. Goes in with the knife. Sneak is right there. He's gonna see him. There it is. Sneak with another kill. 8 to 3 for Illuminar. They're looking insanely strong. Last round in the half.
what a map so far and two ultimates ready right now for uh, for illuminar on the last round Oh, this is gonna be madness. Seen it with the knives ready. Bunkled with the teleport. Killies with the... Well, they don't have any impactful ults right now. I mean, okay. Seen it can just flake everyone. But it's a... You know, there's no space control. But he goes in. He goes fast. Will he do the signature dash on Seen it? There we go. He gets the first one. No, he misses between the legs. Front side kills him with his vandal. Bunkled didn't stick his ultimate. So now Achilles is just rushing through the turret, gets slowed down and gets killed by Grubinho. What is this? What is happening? Coldament just goes through, gets deleted. It's a flawless round for Luminar. Switching sides. Ooh, baby. We see Ascend struggling. Illuminar playing insanely well. What a madness. What a madness. Insane. Now let's take a look at the pistol round. Illuminar with the first round. They're going to try to go with the push on a lobby four people prepared to do that in the meantime they have the alarm board on b garage and front side will take control of mid but they don't they don't go aggressive instead they ought to go slow nitro gets a kill on the peak i am a rita with the second one on the short and that opens up the entire map they know where coldamenta will be the drone will spot him Nitro gets another one. Killies with that peek for the smoke. Gets one. Dismisses. But it's a 2v4 retake on a piss around. This side is being taken care of. Two people right now on site. Two people on a lobby. They know about two of those being go going through the garden now. Everyone will go through. Two under heaven. Grubinho. Four seconds. Still the recon arrow. He will have that in any moment. Headshot on sneak. This is not looking good. He's gonna have to heal. He still has the molly. Kili's on sight. No one sees him. He has control. He's in the leer. Now his position is being known. They go underneath. Starks of dies. Kili's dies. And the first and second pistol run go to Illuminar. They're looking strong as never before. 10 3 for Illuminar. What a match! Ascent crumbles so far. Illuminar destroying the Polish team. The old Chakalaka is just destroying Ascent so far. Who would have thought about that? Absolute madness. Sneak with the flash goes through. Doesn't get stopped by the slow. Gets the first one on C that. Remember, this is an eco. But they go strong. They get the kill. Heal is with. The ego peek through the smoke on eco doesn't get anything and it's not 2v5 with this sheriff and well two of those cold them and 10 bone cold will they do the impossible again Spike planted Whew. let's take a look quietly Shadows Last he with no weapon out. Grubinho takes him out. Sneak just goes through. Gets the second peek. Easy kills for those guys. When it comes to ultimates, we don't have anything ready yet for anyone. Not really much off control was happening in the past. Sneak, by the way, 20 kills in 14 rounds. This guy is insane. absolute insane showing from sneak and his party front side at 15 nitro or nitro with 12 grubino with 10 i with eight he doesn't even have to do anything because his teammates are just destroying everyone to slow down from stock so really important he peeks but he gets only one sneaks opens up gets the rifle see that gets one but sneak repays killers finishes up the job a good bonus run for Illuminar, though. They got three kills, so only two rifles remain. It's 
So now we'll have three players have to rebuy everything. Coldamenta had enough cash to get the big shield. But otherwise, look at this. Two small shields and two players from Ascend. Five people on Illuminar having f rifles and full shields and still cash for the next round while Sneak has his ultimate already. And Nitro, six out of seven. This is a very scary round right now. <gasps> My god. What is happening here? What is this big America goes in through? But Bunkle, they've seen it. Get those two kills. Sneak with a... Why would I even expect anything else? Sneak gets a double kill. It's two versus three. This is looking good for Ascend right now. Tough. It really, it's tough to cast and, and just observe this match. There's so much stuff happening at the same time. Coldamenta got some a little bit of control of mid. Now they can re, re just fall back, get the control of B again. They know most likely they're either gonna be in a oh, lobby or in front of B. But Sneak goes without checking, has to go through the wall with with 20 bullets of his vandal, gets a little bit of control of the side, but his running back will just go away right now. This is the moment where Grominion plants the spike. Now Sneak spike is plant. ready in the location on a lobby and this is gonna be a three versus two retake scenario Starkso and Coldamenta on Haven they didn't make much noise but Sneak opens up he has one flashback ready peeks for the smoke no he stays in it he makes just some confusion ready and this is where they still have the good positioning last player remaining a lot not a lot of HP he jumps down Gobino misses but the shot doesn't have to kill the guy and he gets it 12 run ready Gubinio with the shock third kill to cement the position of Illuminar. What is happening? Whew. I have to take something to drink, guys. Oh my god, my my if if this is gonna be like this for three maps, I'm gonna lose my voice. Cover going out. Sneak uh, as always first to the fight, but gets paranoid. He can't go through. Grubinho opens up with the drone, has his hunter spear ready, gets attacked. No, he doesn't get the attack unless Killers will attack. No, that's not happening. There's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of match control being taken away by Nitro. They all fall him down. They already have the side control. Coldamenta has to repay with his own boss. There's the bunker of first kill. That's the trade. Six goes in. Frontside goes in. They get the control. Two guys still in a lobby. What has been standing? That's the first map. And a luminar. Get the first score on the board. 1-0 for Luminar. Who would have thought that this will happen? The Polish team destroys Ascend. What?